Well, as the nations of the world are suffering uh, commonly together um, under this financial system, we also face uh, common threats from space. Uh, and we have a question that has come in from uh, the basement team, from Ben Denniston of the uh, LaRouche Pack basement team, which I'll go ahead and read. He says, Lynn, I'm hoping you can address the challenge of defending Earth from asteroids and comets because you have presented a unique view of what the challenge really is. While much of the general discussion focuses on the technical aspects, you have said that this also hits a very deep and profound cultural challenge. Since the February asteroid impact over Chelyabinsk, Russia, there has been a growing recognition of the threat of asteroid impacts with the Earth. This has brought considerable attention to the fact that the Earth is not alone in its orbit, that there have been many asteroid impacts with the Earth in the past, and there will continue to be impacts in the future with devastating consequences unless we intervene to stop them. However, while much of the public discussion is limited to asteroids, they are not the only danger. We also have to think about comets. Thankfully, comets are much less frequent, but they are generally much larger and provide very little warning time, making them true planet killers and well outside our current defense capabilities. A few indications of this comet danger have made the headlines recently. Uh, this week, a team of South African scientists working with international collaborators have announced they found the first definitive case of a comet striking the Earth. This event occurred over Egypt about 28 million years ago when a comet exploded upon impact with the Earth's atmosphere, turning desert sand into glass over an area of 6,000 square kilometers. And while this was surely not the only co uh, comet impact in the Earth's history, sometimes the evidence can be hard to locate because the Earth's biosphere reworks the surface at such a fast rate, covering up evidence of past impacts, which is why the Earth's surface does not look like the moon's surface. Now, another more recent comet example is the comet Ison. While this particular comet poses no danger to the Earth, it provides a reminder and a warning. After Ison rounds the sun in late November, the comet should be visible from the Earth in December, alerting all inhabitants of this planet to the dangers in our solar system. Then, as Ison begins to exit the inner solar system, which is expected to make... Um, it is expected to make a close pass by Mars a year from now in October of 2014. Now, while the early reports indicate that an impact with Mars is unlikely but possible, refined measurements now indicated that the impact will probably not happen, which is good news for our rovers and orbiters on Mars, but it should be treated as a warning. The point of all these references, Comet Ison, the comet impact over Egypt 28 million years ago, the millions of asteroids we have yet to discover and track, this should lead to a single broader consideration, something I think you have uniquely put on the table. While there are practical elements and technical challenges involved in defending the Earth, there is a much deeper question involved in considering mankind's active involvement in the solar system. You have indicated that this becomes as much a cultural challenge as a scientific one. Mankind, in the deepest sense, has been acclimated to viewing the universe in terms of how we biologically experience things on Earth, and then extrapolating those assumptions outward, imposing those assumptions on the universe more broadly. The situation has become worse because of the effects of the oligarchical system and its promotion of the disease of reductionism. Now, you have emphasized that this problem, this belief in sense perception, is the core of the challenge mankind now faces when looking to the need to deal with the processes in the solar system as a whole and coming to understand the Earth from the vantage point of the solar system instead of trying to view the solar system from the perspective of the Earth. I think this is a difficult concept for many people to really understand. So could you elaborate your view on this? That takes a little more than the time available here to cover it adequately. I can only in give some indicators of what has to be considered. Uh, by the way, uh, for the curious, I have just sent to the printer, printing process, a document which goes into this question. I didn't uh, actually give Ben a benefit of exactly what I was doing, but he had a general notion of what I was up to. 
And now that he has a chance to read what I actually published, that may be helpful in this whole discussion. Because this has to be a continuing discussion. There, the, there are one aspect of this which is most important. It's the way we think about Earth. And the way we think about Earth is very troublesome to us. If what, the one side, the positive side, is the de development of thermonuclear fusion as an instrument for many applications is an essential part of this whole process. We're going to have to also but use that capability to develop uh, capabilities which lie outside of Earth in the whole complex of asteroids and so forth inside there and use that business as a way of strengthening our defense of the soul of our system, of this system. And that's, we have to take a, a limited approach. I don't, we're not ready yet to take on a comet at great length distance from the United States. We have to be prepared for the arrival of great, we need warning systems and things like that. That we have. Then we have to build up the defenses based on reorganizing some in internal features of the, so of the solar system around Earth and around the Earth-Mars complex. Uh, we can probably handle in the future, we, we're getting rid of some of the junk that's going on now, we could probably handle the problem of using Mars as part of a system with Earth, which is going, not going to, we're not going to have parties up there. We're going to have organization of um, facilities which will enable us to detect and deal with threats. Now, what he's also dealt with is on the other case is a much longer term problem, and which I have not addressed. I'm aware of it. He's been working on it. And I've been aware of this for some time, but he's on, he's on sitting on that himself, and he's concerned, and we, I'm concerned. We're all concerned who, who know this thing. The other aspect is, well, it's another which I deal with at length in the report I just made. It, it involves what the technicalities are of building a system based on these considerations. And that's my little pride and joy. But I, th these things must be done now. We must build up a system of defenses. We have to change the way we think about Earth, which is what I've emphasized in particular, in order to make Earth capable of moving beyond its own area into interferences with problems coming up from other locations. For example, we have to develop defenses against asteroids. A large asteroid coming right at Earth would be a disastrous event. Therefore, we have to deal with that kind of problem at the same time. We also have to start to organize the system of asteroids which are in this whole area of the Mars-Earth area. And these things are necessary. The first thing we can do now immediately is to increase the awareness of this. What happened with Obama set the United States back, way back, in terms of space programs. It almost destroyed the whole thing. So therefore, the first thing to do is to reorganize what we had before Obama became president and organize that kind of, that kind of system that we were going after before, but accelerate it. If we accelerate it, then we will develop capabilities which we can use. Uh, how well those will work, we, that has to be determined. But on the basis of the history of, of accomplishments, that's the, that, you have to agree that's what we're going to do. We're going to restart uh, the whole program of the space system. And we're going to use the space system as a development for those kinds of purposes which we are informed to believe are the best places to put our defense capabilities against comets and other kinds of problems like large uh, asteroids which can knock us out too, from even from there.